Good afternoon, happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. For today, I um, actually, I didn't have to upload. I have videos scheduled out for tomorrow, so I'm going to upload tomorrow. Most likely because I wanted to do it earlier today and I woke up kind of late. I don't know why I actually went to bed, like, not really that late. Like, I went to bed kind of early. And I just ended up waking up kind of late today. Um, but I did wind up getting um, laundry and dishes done for today. Um, I actually ended up doing, I have a load of laundry in the washing machine right now. And I'll probably move it to the dryer before I go to sleep tonight. Um, and then I got everything taken care of from dinner tonight. And um, washed all the dishes. Which guys, it's like really weird because Matthew's not home. And so he didn't eat any dinner tonight. We had so many leftovers, like so much. It was ridiculous. I was like, honestly, it looked like almost nobody had eaten any of it. And I was like, and it's pasta. So like normally like Matthew will eat like half of the dinner that I've made. Um, and so I was like, geez, I'm going to have to like cut the recipes in half from now on or something like that because there was just so much left over and like I don't eat the chicken or anything like that and you know or meat so I can't like join in in any of the meals so like today is like Jack ended up having some and my dad had some and I think my mom had like a little bit but she had more of like the chicken um and so I like seriously guys I'm cooking for three people now and like three people that like I don't know like Matthew probably had the biggest appetite out of everybody else and like Jack I was surprised he didn't end up eating more because if it's pasta normally Jack will eat a lot and so I don't know maybe he just ate more of the chicken too because it was like a very like chicken it was like chicken pesto so I ended up making like a, I used a lot of chicken like I think maybe almost three pounds of chicken breast or something like that but then I did like about a half of a box of rotini along with it and I was like oh like this will be fine and everything like that but I think it was just still like too maybe too much pasta and everybody ate more of the chicken and stuff so um maybe it was just that but still it was just like kind of ridiculous that there was so much leftovers I actually ended up eating all the green beans though um I think like me and my dad did ended up eating the green beans maybe my mom had a little bit I steamed green beans as a side dish and I was like constantly like eating them like snacking on them um like pretty much from dinner like onward um until like the afternoon and so yeah guys I had green beans and then I also ended up making myself um a freezer dinner the butternut squash lentil curry I ended up having that for dinner tonight which was super tasty so I had that and green beans for dinner um and then I had some freeze-dried strawberries afterward as my dessert because I honestly guys they're like candy seriously I get the freeze-dried strawberries from Aldi oh my gosh guys they are so stinking good they're like seriously like candy but they don't like make me feel like really like I don't know after I have a lot of sugar um or like too much sugar I'll get like a headache like I just feel like out of it after I have like too much sugar but I could eat literally an entire package of those freeze dried strawberries they're the I think simply nature brand from Aldi I could eat an entire package of them it's even more than eating like a regular thing of strawberries from like you know like a, a pound package from Aldi I think I think maybe about the same amount like but they're freeze dried so you don't feel like you're actually eating that much but I swear guys, they are just like so amazing. And I honestly don't really like strawberries. I like strawberry flavored things, but I'm not a huge, huge, huge strawberry fan. I love blackberries and raspberries. Those are my two absolute favorite berries. And then maybe like strawberries, blueberries is like a close second. Um, but yeah, I could eat, I normally wind up getting like the like six ounce packages of like blackberries or like raspberries when they're on sale and I normally get four a week and I eat them all <laughs> just myself those are my favorite like is that blueberries I'm like I'll kind of snack on them a little bit and like maybe use strawberries but strawberries to me are like too sweet like they make my teeth hurt like too sweet but these freeze-dried strawberries I feel like aren't the same as that like for me I don't know why but they taste so much better than like regular strawberries or like like candy but they taste like like strawberry candy if that makes sense they just taste so good they're my favorite so and then the other thing that we actually ended up getting done today as well though we got jack's school supplies all taken care of which was really nice um we had 
pretty much just about all of the supplies that he needed already because of the last like however many years that I've been just going to Office Depot and just buying up whatever's on sale um and like normally during their sales this year they had really bad like they didn't do like they've done in the past where it's like oh like you know we have a special on composition notebooks or whatever they're just like these are low prices for the whole school school you know year or school back to school sale and stuff like that and I don't know how long it lasted but they were just like at like a fixed price and like I don't know I felt like they weren't as good of a deal because like they would have like composition notes for like quarter or something like that or like um they'd have I think they had their folders were like one cent but it was like with a minimum five dollar additional purchase so normally then I'd also get like the composition notebooks which were like a quarter and like you know I might stack on a couple extra things but if they were all really cheap like normally I could leave the store paying like maybe about ten bucks for like over a hundred dollars worth of school supply stuff sometimes um I think there was one time too where we ended up getting Matthew and Jack both new backpacks and like a bunch of other school supply stuff and it was like honestly upwards of like over a hundred dollars and we ended up sp spending like I think thirty dollars or something like that because the backpacks were like ten dollars or something like that plus the regular school supply stuff but like I would go every single weekend uh, you know because the sales circulars would start on Sunday so I'd go every single Sunday pretty much and this year they didn't really have any good deals so I didn't really go to Office Depot like at all this year I did do a couple like little back to school deals at all um Menards but um, they were just like some things that I noticed if they were like decently cheap and stuff like that. But I don't know. I didn't really notice that Office Depot, like I checked a couple times on there and they were the same thing. They were like, oh, like this stuff is on sale. But it didn't really seem like it was like really on sale to me. Like I was like, that's normally like a, the price you'd probably pay at Walmart or whatever. But I felt like they're like super cheap like items were actually like what made me go to the store to go and pick this stuff up or whatever. And so this year I didn't really feel like their back to school deals were that amazing. I know Staples had some really good ones, but I actually don't know where the closest Staples is to us. So um, I've never, I don't, I mean I might have gone to a Staples before, but I don't know that I've ever like actually been there. I think there used to be one near us, but it's really weird because we used to have an Office Depot that was closer to us and now it closed down. And so now like we have to go to a different one and yeah. I don't normally shop at like office supply stores and stuff like that like that often other than like the back to school sale stuff so like I said if I've ever been to like a Staples I don't really know where it is that we've gone to one but um yeah anyways though just with that whole thing um we actually only ended up spending twenty dollars just about um actually less than that I think for all of Jack's school supply stuff it was under twenty dollars like about fifteen I'd say um for his school supply stuff which he ended up needing an SD card they said eight gigabytes but I realized that when we were at Walmart and I, then while we were in the store I actually checked on Target's app as well they don't have eight gigabyte SD cards anymore the lowest that either store had was 16 so I was like well that's too bad he's getting a 16 gigabyte which I don't think the teachers are gonna be complaining but it was like super specific too it was a eight gigabytes uh, SDHC um, Extreme Class 10 or something like that which I was like they had some online but they were from like really obscure websites that I'd like never heard of so they did have like an extreme but it was in a micro SD card and I was like I don't think that's what he needs because they didn't specify honestly guys it's the only thing that frustrates me about back to school lists at least at our school every single year they ask for a ruler with centimeters on it every single year we have never been able to find a ruler with centimeters on it send Jack to school every single year with a regular ruler with no centimeters on it never once has any teacher ever said anything and they never make him use like a different ruler that has centimeters on it I think honestly and from what I remember using like just a regular ruler for was like when we had to use a straight edge for like something like it wasn't even like to ever measure actually anything um ever that I can remember in any elementary school middle school or high school or anything like that the only time that we needed a ruler was like if we were making straight lines and geometry or something like that like we never needed it to have centimeters on it so it's really bizarre and like sometimes they ask for really obscure things too the other thing that they asked for was like some specific ask they asked for expo markers and it said two boxes and then it said 
two or three sets. What in the heck does that mean? Like seriously, so I sent Jack to school. I didn't know either if they wanted the fine point ones or like the thicker markers. And we had the thicker ones, so that's what I sent him to school with. Like, I don't know. Sometimes if you don't specify, like, it's the only thing that can get really confusing. So that's why too, they don't even sell eight gigabyte SD cards anymore, which he needs for a broadcasting class that they have so yeah and then the other thing too about those expo markers was the same like teacher so I'm not sure like I said I just if they're like oh he actually needs this like then specify or something like that because I don't know I just kind of went off of what I thought he needed and the same thing too they asked for index cards that were like certain type of like rule or something like that and um I think it might have been like three by six or four by six or something like that and um i had three by five or three by four or something like that and that's just what i gave him because my mom actually ended up asking the teacher last year she ended up going to like four different stores last year to try and find this specific colored um folder that they wanted that was like one of those like plasticky folders and it had to have prongs in it and i think she needed like a yellow or, or maybe it was like a purple like a weird color that like isn't super super normal and like she was like i went to four stores and couldn't find them she's like i'm sorry and the teacher's like oh no it's okay sometimes like we'll just ask for like that and like we just so that the kids can keep themselves organized or something like that so that they can have them for each different class or something like that or like if they ask for it with prongs and you get them without prongs like my mom was like i'm so sorry like we couldn't find i think that was what it was like she couldn't find that color with prongs and this year they ended up asking for with prongs but just like they didn't specify plastic or paper so we just gave them paper ones um but it's like honestly though like halfway through the the school here i feel like half of the kids stuff winds up falling apart anyway and you just buy them new stuff anyway like if jack's folders ripped i'll be like here's a new folder like you can just use this one like honestly that happened to me a lot too in high school and it was never like i don't know i feel like middle schools and elementary schools are so specific about like what you need and i get like the kids are younger but like once you get to high school and like kind of middle school too even it's like you kind of know what you need and you know like hey do I actually need like glue or glue sticks and stuff like that and if not like you know unless the teacher needs it for like the class like you're giving it as a class donation or something like that but like if not like I sent Jack to school with a mini stapler like he doesn't need it for any class and then also to like a three ring hole punch thing too and he can just use it if he needs it and he can use it at school and we have one at home but if he needs it for school like a stapler or something like that he can always use it himself they don't ask for that in the you know or put it on a school supply list but we have extras because i love buying those little those little staplers um so yeah i gave them to gave him one sometimes they just don't specify very well and i don't necessarily know what like he needs <laughs> and stuff like that so yeah my mom had a a lot of trouble last year trying to find all his school supplies but this year like I said the biggest thing he needed was like the micro SD card which was like I think eight or nine bucks or something like that that was like more than half of what we ended up paying so we paid fifteen dollars for Jack's school supplies this year because we had everything else that he needed we have tons and tons of pencils and all kinds of other stuff just because I stock up every back to school year and this year I didn't other than the couple things that he did we didn't have like we don't have graphing notebook paper um, which he needed we didn't have an accordion folder like a couple like weird ish things i guess but like all the basic stuff pencils pens scissors you know like i said mini staplers <laughs> um you know like all that kind of stuff filler paper um for the most part uh, the folders we just didn't have the ones with prongs so we ended up well he had two i ended up going and getting three other ones because he needed five of them so like just a couple little things that we needed ended up costing us 15 bucks this year guys for school supplies that was pretty stinking amazing i'd say i spent maybe like five dollars a week like on all the school supply stuff like over the course of like school supply back to school season and obviously it paid off this year because we only had to spend 15 bucks and like matthew will probably just wind up like whatever he needs he'll take and stuff like that if he needs filler paper like he i think my mom got him some stuff already i don't really know but he got like he took some um like highlighters and a couple other things back with him but i he started actually classes today so i think they'll tell him like what he needs or if he even needs paper or notebooks and you know that kind of stuff and whatnot 
and of course he can figure out over this the year as it goes on what he kind of needs and like oh I should probably get a notebook for that class or whatever even if they don't tell him like I would do that too like even if my teacher didn't say I needed a notebook I'd be like well you know what this is probably a class that I might want to have an extra notebook for because I want to take notes or like I needed to do something or whatever um honestly though I never liked writing in notebooks I just like having filler paper and I feel like it's the same thing with me and my planner I don't necessarily like writing things down in my planner I like to just do like post-it notes or like um little like sheets of paper and stuff like that I'll just write little things down on there because then if I'm like oh I actually don't want this anymore I can just throw it away or whatever but with a notebook I hate ripping the pages out of a notebook I just I feel like it's wasteful because then I might as well just get regular paper and use it that way um and then if it's something where I'm like oh I actually didn't need that or that was wrong or you know something I just throw it away so yeah guys I guess that's just personal personal preference but I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you subscribe and I'll see all of your some shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys